guys, welcome to the channel. Apologies for the wind noise. Today is Monday, Easter Monday, um, but farming doesn't stop for public holidays. So I'm actually currently up at the tower, as you can see here, we've got planes flying about, spraying the neighbors' paddocks. Just had to come up here to fix the GPS. So in this box here is all the circuit breakers and all that sort of stuff. And the GPS base station's over there. Actually had the plug there, was half pulled out and a bit damaged, so I'm gonna have to uh, repair that. And yeah, I think it looks like we've got lights on now at least, so we should be good to go. We are starting to plant. So I'm gonna hop down now, hop onto that, and we're gonna sow some canola. And the other thing is we have new shirts. So that's the logo embroidered on, got our names so I don't forget who I am. And we do have different colors for everyone. So there you go. Um, we do have different colors for everyone. So dad was pretty keen to have everyone in a different color so he can see, I don't know why it really matters, but so he can see from a distance who's driving what or any of that so he thought it would make it easier to identify if we're all different colors so that's why we're going to be going forward a fairly colorful bunch i think josiah's green brad is light blue phil is yellow um we've got johnny is orange i think um dad is blue short sleeve blue and robbo is i think a creamy color um, so yeah, we're all, all different, but, um, all got the logo on, um, all come up really well. Uh, we'll get onto the tractor and, um, see if I can get my head around how to work this new system on the, on the cedar. We'll get into it. Plenty of oil. Down here where we're going to start, We've got Brad in the rogator there. Hopefully he doesn't wipe me out as he unfolds. But you can see here there's a strip through there. So this is where last year there were two different crops. Um, and this year again we've got two different varieties of canola. So yeah, we're going to do one on that side all the way down there and on the other side of the hill and then a different variety up, up the top here. Um, so he is actually putting down a residual spray uh, which needs to go down before we sow and then that, um, that sort of mixes in as we, we run through it with the planter here and um, helps hold some weeds at bay um, while the crop's coming up. He's got to do that first. I've got to try and figure this out. Actually, if you go back to the previous video, vlog 70, um, I'll put a link in the top screen there. Um, you can have a look. I go through this with Brad. Brad was sort of involved in the, the well, this side of things, so he sort of learned roughly how it all works. Um, so I went through with him in the latter half of that video about all of this system. So if you're interested on why we upgraded the system on the air cart um, and all of that sort of stuff, just, um, yeah, go back and watch that. You can see here we've got uh, 1.7 kilos to the hectare of canola going out um, so obviously when it's wheat or something like that you're looking at um, 25 to 35 40 kilos to the hectare um, so yeah canola is you know, don't put much out and they're really small seeds so we don't actually have to deal with bulk amounts of seed they're just 20 kilo bags and obviously a 20 kilo bag gets you a fair way um, so we just sack a few of them up um, so, our fertiliser, usually we would go on a fair bit heavier than that, but um, just at the times that we're in at the minute with expensive fertiliser, we just cut it back a bit. We usually run um, quite a lot of fertiliser in and start a fertiliser, so there is a build up in the soil, which means when times are like this, um, we can afford to cut it back a bit without sacrificing um, much yield at all. Uh, obviously don't want to do this for too many years in a row otherwise you deplete all the reserves in your soil but uh, once is not going to be a problem um, right 
So, I think I want to turn both of them on. I want to see if I can engage the fan. So we did a couple of hundred metres. Here's what I was saying about the bright coloured shirts too. We've got Phil digging holes. How are you going finding canola, Phil? Yeah, we made, made the wheel spinning a little bit quicker. It's too slow. light. Yeah. So we did have a couple of alarms going off saying about gear ratios. So Brad's up there fiddling around, but I guess You'd be pretty lucky if we uh, just did 200 metres and nothing was wrong. <laughs> oh, it's sewing beautifully. It's going in alright. Okay. Oh, here's a, here's a, a pre-dug hole. Well, the pre press wheel's doing a good job. Make sure Brad doesn't run over us. See the lightly pressed mark there. And then it's about an inch, inch and a half under there, this fertiliser at this stage. Oh yeah. Okay, so it's in there, nice and wet. Nice. Oh yeah, so you can see it turning. Don't go too quick, I've got to run. Yeah, that's turning. Does this bring back memories of when we were in uh, kids in the sand pit, Phil? Yeah, that's it. Digging I'm holes. Hoping to find something. <laughs> this is um, gold at the moment, this canola. We don't want to waste any of this. We're str struggling to get the seed. It's, um, it's good. Oh, there's. I think I just saw one. It's a good thing they've got a purple coating on it because if they're black, we'd be here for days. Because, like I said earlier, they're only, it's only going out at 1.7 kilos a hectare. So, so in Australia, we're struggling to get seed. Um, a lot of people can't get the seed that was allocated to them uh, with the canola so there's one yeah yeah that's good I don't think we're going to struggle with planting in the moisture so there's another one that's all the fat so hey Matt, we can't be spilling any, okay? It's hard to get. Six hundred and sixty dollars. Is that is that a why? Bag. Is that why I'm only putting a couple of bags in at a time? Yeah. In case I don't want to spill half a tank. We don't have any replacement seed. Yeah, no, that's that's good. What would roughly the spacing be between in a row at 1.7 kilos a hectare? Oh, probably you probably want them in, 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 inch or two. Part. This is quite big seed, they've been a hybrid seed, I think there's 135,000 seeds in a kilo, whereas some of the other varieties are up in the 200,000s. Yeah, righto. So it should, should have good <coughs> vigour. She'll pop out. Brad's disappeared. I think he's on his way back now. Well, it all looks to be going well. Give it a quick once over while I wait for Brad to hop back on the sprayer and keep going there. It's a nice problem to have when mud's sticking everywhere when you're trying to sow. Because we've, uh, we've certainly been through a couple of times when we were wishing that was the case.
I think we've got all the kinks ironed out, hopefully. It's all looking good. It's um, those little uh, pictures of bins, and when it's full, it's all blue. And because we've only got 80 kilos in the canola bin, we don't, we don't want to fill it up. That'd uh, be asking for trouble. But um, yeah, we've only got a little bit in there, so you can see a little tiny bit of blue down the bottom. That represents how full that bin is. Um, so yeah, it's pretty nifty. If you like the videos, just make sure you keep hitting the like button. And yeah, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to be notified of when we upload a video, you can uh, hit the little bell icon there somewhere. All's been going well. We've done about uh, nearly 60 hectares, I think. We're just going to grab some more seed to throw up here. This is a convenient way to do it. Well, we've got bags up the top there. Just going around, giving another quick once over. Everything's been going flawlessly. It's been good. But I just want to listen for any air leaks. Um, because canola is such a small seed, if that lid up there isn't sealed properly and it's hissing out air what that does is the air pressure that comes from the fan which is at the back there comes all the way through there forces up because now the air can get out the top which actually restricts the seed falling down into the metering box and you can end up with a really light rate um, and yeah it causes issues so don't want to do that we got the old comma here um, this one's got the perkins motor in it there is a saying with the perkins is if there's no oil under them there's no oil in them so they uh have a tendency to leak a little now she's been a good old good old truck we all cut our teeth on this guys another day more fun uh, you can see here we've got a bit of a blockage now this is what happens when you have good yielding crops the previous year is you end up with a lot of stubble to deal with um, easy way out is just to light it up um, but I think at this stage it's just a bit of a section here that's causing a few issues so I don't think we need to do that just yet, but if it keeps happening, we may have to. Jammed in good.
Well guys, so I think it's uh, gonna have to just fill up with food again and fill up with fuel, get ready to go in the morning. And by maybe eight, eight o'clock, maybe 8.30, um, it's had a bit of sun on it. It might go a bit better, I don't know. So anyway guys, that'll be it for me talking for this video anyway. Um, I'll set up the camera and I'll fill up with fur, um, check over the planner and um, yeah, we'll catch you in the next one.